Hi there, and welcome to my channel. Today we are making a faster than lasagna bake using all fresh ingredients from the farm, except the pasta and the cheese, of course. I started my spaghetti sauce, my lasagna sauce, by browning a one pound package of ground beef and adding to it my onions, garlic, and oregano. When that was mostly cooked, I added some salt and pepper and I'm using frozen tomatoes. So I did pour some hot water over my frozen tomatoes and took the skins off as much as I could. I just put them into the pot with the hamburger when they're frozen, no problem. I put a poorly fitting lid on it and they got soft in no time. They break down completely. I don't really have any spinach this time of year because my spinach likes to bolt. So anytime I want some green like that, I just go grab some Swiss chard. I love Swiss chard. I use these big leaves as a wrap and I use it exactly the way that you might spinach. I love the flavor. This is my homegrown celery and a little goes a long ways cause it is big in the flavor department. So there I have some basil and some celery. These fresh items are going in to add extra flavor to my spaghetti lasagna sauce. And then I just let those cook down. The Swiss chard does take a little bit longer to wilt in the hot than spinach might. So give yourself a little bit of time. Isn't that looking gorgeous? This sauce is so flavorful and I almost forgot to add my sugar component. A little goes a long way. For this, you guys, I went and bought some fancy Parmesan. It's not really fancy, but it is shredded and it's not the stuff out of the jar that's already powder. Of course, I added a half cup of cottage cheese to this and some mozzarella. I want it to be nice and cheesy. And then I'm going to be adding my noodles. I started with four cups of dried noodles and I just wanna stir it up to make sure that my bake is not going to be noodle heavy because I don't want the ground beef and sauce to disappear and the noodles be the star of the show. So I added a few more and I was probably left with a one cup of cooked noodles that make a nice little pasta salad. I topped it with more Parmesan and mozzarella right to the corners so that it gets nice and crispy when it bakes, which I baked at 375 for 20 minutes, but bake it until you're happy with it. I added a few red pepper flakes, but not so many that I would blow everybody's palate out with that. Look and listen. It was ready and so good and so easy. I recommend this. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye for now.